Folks, if you are not subscribed to our Substack, please do, because Ro uh, Russell published uh, this article here. Juliana Margulies, peer pressures friends into supporting ethnic cleansing. So this was a deconstruction of her op-ed published in the USA Today, in which she expressed her profound disappointment at her non-Jewish friends for not sticking up for her and her rich Jewish friends uh, to provide emotional support through Israel's genocidal campaign in Gaza. But she didn't stop there. She went on a podcast called The Back Room, and we have a couple of clips from the podcast uh, that we want to play for you. So here's clip number one. You know, if, if, if we use the wrong pronouns on college campuses, there'd be an uproar. Oh, my God. Yet, Forget look, it. look what's happening. And so, and that's not to denigrate those, the use of it, pronouns. It's those kids who are spewing this anti Semitic hate that have no idea if they stepped foot in an Islamic country. These people who want us to call them they, them, or what, whatever they want us to call them, which I have respectfully. Mm -hmm really tr made made a point of doing like be whoever you want to oh, be how kind of you it's those people that will be the She's first people beheaded mm -hmm. and their heads played with a soccer ball mm -hmm. like a soccer ball on the field and and that's who they're supporting terrorists mm -hmm. no that's not who they're supporting terrorists who would kick a, a non-binary person's uh, head like a soccer ball they're supporting the thousands of innocent people who have been murdered by the Israeli state. This is just such a caricature of the Muslim world, too. You know, and look, this, it, well, is, this it's is typical. Not, it's yeah, typical it's of typical. this kind of Zionist. It's what you hear from Pacman, basically. Right. 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 I mean, what is he saying? They're from Bill Maher, from Sam Harris, same thing. Oh, if you only knew what they would think of you and how they would treat you if they got their hands on you. Right. First of all, it, that's just uh, not true. It, there, there's there's a big difference between answering an opinion poll in a way that would you know brand you socially conservative on issues of you know trans rights or women's rights or gay rights. There's a big difference between someone who answers a pollster's question in that way and someone who's going to rip your head off and kick it down the field like a like a soccer ball. Like this is just a caricature of the Muslim world. And even if you're talking about especially repressive states and regimes, you're talking about governments. You're talking about political organizations that weaponize extreme elements of religion to protect their own power. That's not what she's doing. She is obviously branding Muslim people as savages who would rip your head off and kick it like a soccer ball. That's obviously what she's doing there. And it's what Bill Maher does. It's what Sam Harris does. And all these guys who tried to make it sound like, no, 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 we're just criticizing ideas. Bullshit. You've proven it's bullshit now. You've proven it's bullshit now by being this pig-headed on this issue where anybody who doesn't offer blanket support for what Israel's doing is is hurting you in some way look what the fuck is happening children are dying at a faster rate in gaza than they died at auschwitz yes that's true it's an amazing thing to read but that's actually true yeah and asshole um there was a very strong secular leftist political movement throughout the Arab world. There were leftist political parties all over the Arab world. We didn't want that. The United States didn't want that. The United States wanted Muslim fundamentalists that would give them an excuse to bomb the hell out of them. They didn't want independent, democratic, left-oriented uh, countries that would seize their own resources and kick out the Westerners. Um, this is a result of our manipulation of the region, as is the very existence of the state of Israel, which as RFK described it, it's our aircraft carrier, right? Exactly. To yep. keep all of these people in that state. So if you have religious fundamentalists overrepresented in the Muslim world, well, that's because of the direction we pushed the history of those countries in. It didn't have to be that way. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. And for those who thought that we're done with damning audio from this podcast episode, oh no. That, that, was, that was an appetizer, man. The yeah. next one, there are no words. And we there won't even no set this up, actually. Let's just play it. 
I, 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 it, it wouldn't shock me a bit if a month from now you see students on Columbia's campus or Cornell or wherever, you know, just somehow finding that lane that to them makes Hitler the good guy and somehow America in the 1940s the bad guy. But, but also here's, okay, let's talk about Hitler for a minute. Did you see you? Great name for that's a great name for a show, by the way, like a one man show. Let's talk about Hitler. Talk about it. Did you see um, U.S. and the Holocaust, the Ken Burns documentary? Everyone should watch it. It should be mandatory watching. Mm -hmm. Listen to this, especially for the black community, if I may. Woo! Because (laughs) you hear that? Let's play that. You hear that, black community? Yeah. Juliana Margulies is telling you what you need to watch, if she may. If she may. If she may. It's the Ken Burns documentary. Everyone should watch it. It should be mandatory watching. Mm-hmm. Especially for the black community, if I may. Because <sighs> Hitler Ooh. got his entire playbook from the Jim Crow South. Mm-hmm. The Nazis were watching how the Jim Crow South were treating slaves. And said, oh, great call. Let's okay, do that so, so I just That's so what- so I just I just want to point out um, what a completely uneducated fucking moron Juliana Margulies <laughs> is, because the Jim Crow South was not treating slaves in any way, because the Jim Crow South came after fucking <laughs> s- after slavery. You fucking moron! You fucking moron! So I have not seen the documentary she's talking about. I've read a lot about the Third Reich. I mean, would Hitler have perhaps at some point looked at the history of race in the South and taken some inspiration from it? Maybe. But you know whose portrait he had behind his desk? Most people don't know this. I think you know this, Keith. Henry Ford. Henry Ford. Henry Ford, his real inspiration, the reason the genocide was so orderly, uh, so automated, so precise, was he was trying to simulate Henry Ford's assembly line techniques, and that was how he thought society should be organized. So, yeah, I mean, you're uh, you're a, a crazy racist psychopath. I'm sure he did look at some point at the Jim Crow South, but to say that that's what the Nazi state was built on is fucking nonsense. Yep. What we'll do to the Jews, which is also why in the civil rights movement, the Jews were the ones that walked side by side with, with only the, the Jews to only fight the Jews. for their rights. Mm-hmm. Nobody because else. Because they know. And now the black community isn't embracing us. Oh, the and black saying, community we stand owes with us. You the way you stood with us. Oh, we stood with you during this year's civil rights struggle. So you're not going to stand with us as what? As the Israeli state genocides a population of imprisoned brown people? It's so fucking sick. And the whole thing. Okay, we stood with you. Who's this we? There are some Jews who did. Not all. I'm not saying there were more racists in the Jewish community, but I don't think less. Yeah, like there were some Jewish civil rights leaders. There were a lot of waspy civil rights leaders. Like, what are you talking about? Like the whole Jewish community came out. And what about other communities that were marching with black people? A lot of, a lot of communities were marching with black people at that time. Um, so to claim that as something... The entire Jewish community was out supporting black people. And, and exactly. Now you have to support a genocide. Even if that were true. Yeah. Even if the Jews even, even if that were, were unique in having black people's back during the civil rights struggle, that doesn't obligate black people now to stand side by side with Israel as they commit war crime after war crime in broad daylight against the people of Gaza who... I would suspect a lot of black people who have studied the liberation struggle of black people probably feel a lot more sympathetic to the Palestinians than the Israelis in this example. Well, and that's what the Zionists miss. That's why this is for any sane, rational person listening to this. It's unintelligible. Right. And what, that's not what, even, what do I'm you not mean? even talking about the, the rank. About, the reason I said those who studied is because they're talking specifically here about 
the radicalism on college campuses, right? How can these kids who know, you know, the history of segregation and civil rights struggle, how could they be turning on us in this way? Right. Yeah. Right. Uh, uh, let's keep going. We got some more, right? Yeah, yeah. Go on. Jews died for their cause. Where's the history lesson in that? Who's who's teaching these kids? Because the fact that the entire black community isn't standing with us, to me, says either they they just are, don't know, or they've been brainwashed to hate mm-hmm. Jews. But when you've been marginalized so much as a community, the way I feel we have, isn't that when you step up? So that, well, I think the brain. I think it, you're right. I think the brainwashing is that. There's this narrative that's been created that Jews are the oppressor, Jews are genocidal. Um, when, have, when have we ever oppressed? Ever? Um, you can use the art. Hmm. Now? Yeah, now? <laughs> try, try now? <laughs> right now? <laughs> try right now? Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's just, it, may, it, it, it makes me blow a blood vessel listening to her, man. It is, it is just the level of ignorance. And, and this is happening, frankly, and as a Jewish person, I hate to see it. It's an embarrassment to anybody from that community, how people like her, like Michael Rappaport, like uh, Ackman with his Harvard letter, there have been some black people who have responded directly to this and to Rappaport on uh, TikTok um, saying, hey, leave us out of it, man. Like, why every time you want to make a point, you try to compare your thing to our thing? That's not our thing. That's not we're not obligated to you. It's just it's really a disgusting tactic to use. But I haven't heard anybody. I mean, Rappaport was pretty bad. I think a lot of people saw saw that video that he put out saying if it had been yeah there were black black hostages hostages, they they you know there's nobody would be calling for a ceasefire i i I would argue this is marginally worse because it's 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 much worse because it's saying it's saying to black people they owe us something you owe us because we were there for you unquestioningly support us even if it betrays your morals, although in her defense, I don't think she's even capable of, of seeing it that way. She's obviously just so brainwashed. She can't even see it that way. But even if you don't see it that way, the idea that they owe it to you to be there for you uh, right. because you were there for them. They owe it to you to suspend their judgments, right, about the specifics of this situation. They owe it to you to forfeit the opportunity to actually evaluate who's on the right, who's on the wrong. Well, we have to back the Jews because the Jews had our back. And another thing she's doing, and this is obvious, and this is something we've been saying forever, and Russell touched on it there in his point when he says he's Jewish and how this is embarrassing. Yes, it's embarrassing and it's it's harmful. It's actually very dangerous. This is why I say Zionists use Jews as human shields because exactly. she is equating Zionism and Judaism, which means right. that according to Juliana Margulies, to be against Israel here is to be anti-Jewish. Right. Well, all that does is worsen anti-Semitism because most of the world sees what's happening for what it is right now. Most people are not right. as brainwashed as she is. And whoever this fucking Andy Ostrich, Ostrich, both of them, fuck both of them yeah. they're fucking uh, disgusting people yeah. like this. This entire thing, like, I don't I don't know whether to put it this way. I guess I have to say I'd recommend it. If you want to take a deep dive into how these people think, because they are both just pure, maniacal Zionists, both of them. The things they say are just crazy. Throughout, I told Keaton when I was trying to figure out what parts to focus on, it was hard to figure out. Because I'm taking notes on timestamps, and every two minutes I'm pausing it. Because I'm like, yeah, you could do a segment on that, 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 the whole thing. Like, really, we could sit here for three hours playing it and pausing (laughs) it. Yep argument for israel the un i mean here's what here's what kills me is that these kids are calling and choose colonialists if you're going to go with that argument kids then get the fuck out of america right because you were not here first right native americans were here and you owe them a big fucking apology and move the fuck out yeah so then don't you owe the palestinian people right and they all make this argument without seeing the irony right exactly (laughs) exactly look Left, You're admitting it now. <laughs> left critique is all about acknowledging 
the original foundational sins of this country. The American left right. is rooted in the recognition of the original sins of this country and doing what we can to atone for them and make them right and move forward in solidarity, class solidarity, race solidarity, gender solidarity, etc. Right? That's the whole point of a left project. Not to deny the original sin, because that's what you're asking us to do. You say, well, then why don't you get the fuck out of here because you're living on stolen land? Okay, so then why don't the Israelis get the fuck So isn't that the point? Isn't that the point? I mean, we don't want people to get killed over it. I'm not saying I want people murdered over it. But we have to atone for it. We have to make it right. right. That's the whole point right. of being on the left, is to make it right. So here she is talking about, well, I accommodate people's pronouns. It's all bullshit. It's all a game to these people. Right. It's all nonsense. That's well, why – that's part of why we are as aggressive as we are against the – we'll call the, the pseudo-woke left, if it, that's less offensive to some of you, because it's all a mile wide and an inch deep. I'm – I try my best to call people by their pronouns, God damn it. Now support my genocide. Which she clearly kind of doesn't that? approve That's of. That's not a left. That's not a left. That is not a left. A she left is, yeah, we acknowledge our original sins. We acknowledge the sins of the Israeli state. And we have to make right by it nonviolently. Nonviolently, that's the whole point of solidarity is to be nonviolent, right? You always want that's that's why I'm anti-war. But that doesn't mean to deny the sins of the country, be it Israel or, or us. Well, they all give up the game because you see this again and again. You saw it in the Medea, Medea Benjamin video. They they all liken it to what we did to the Native Americans. So you're admitting <laughs> right. the core argument. Right. As soon as you make that argument. You are admitting that Israel is a genocidal apartheid state. You're right. giving, you're giving, you're conceding that. Okay, so if you, and I, I had this debate with a Zionist who said this to me, and I said, well, okay, if what you're arguing is it is Israel's misfortune that the people they did this to are still alive in great enough numbers to be repatriated to their land and it, and America doesn't have to pay that price for its sins and you know it's kind of unfair yeah sorry you didn't genocide these people 200 years ago when nobody would have cared and it would have been done by now right sorry I mean right. is that what you want me to tell you exactly okay right. <laughs> sorry but it is what it is they are alive and it is the 21st century not the 19th century you cannot just do this in broad daylight on on social media daily murdering 70 percent women and children and uh have people go yeah you know i mean right we don't forgive people that so easily anymore you know why destiny. because we like to think we've made a little bit of progress as a species we like to think so we like you know? to think so um but uh yeah, no, in her in her fucking crazy gaslighting article that I that I responded to with my article, the whole conceit of her article was that her friends just don't know the Jewish history. That's the only reason she can think of right. that they're not weighed down by what Hamas did on October 7th, so she has to explain to them how Jews are raised uh, uh, just constantly being told about the Holocaust. And that that is something that is true, and I've talked about that on the show. Um, it's a form of brainwashing because you are told from a very early age that if you don't support Israel, you're betraying the six million who died in the right, Holocaust exactly. and all the other Jews who died and suffered for their religion. You're betraying them by not supporting Israel. Um, and that that's a very sick way to look at the world and as this plays out i mean it's very interesting in hollywood you're seeing you know people getting fired and and you know uh it, it it's it's really opening up this rift where again i mean going back to what i was writing in the frankenstein article where they've been saying for years you're not supposed to oppress people you're supposed to be horrified by genocide. You're not supposed to side with colonialism. And nobody's been banging that drum louder than Hollywood. And right. as soon as this broke out, okay, so what do you do? What do you do? You have, you, you've brought up all of these younger actors and writers and directors 
who sympathize with the Palestinians. And I think they themselves are trying to figure out what to do now because they don't want to torch their careers. But you know, you know that right now, 70% of Hollywood at least is pro-Palestine. Of course. Of course. And I just want to add one thing before we go to some more super chats. Norman Finkelstein said very famously in that viral clip from decades ago um, that's been making the rounds, you know, in the past six or so weeks. He says, my commitment to the Palestinian cause is informed by the fact that my parents were Holocaust survivors. Please clap. (laughs) 